Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Well, I'm making the effort to vlog more. But I am getting a little bit behind on the vi on the editing again. It is three hours and forty minutes into the first day of October, uh, two thousand twenty-one. The weeks as the weeks tick by, so do the months, and we're in. Well, I think it's yeah. The last. Um, quarter of the year, so 2020, 2022 is, is, uh, is uh, fast approaching. The day was bizarre, but the, again, again the, I, I don't really have a day that isn't bizarre. Uh, I think I'm in altered states more often than not. It has to do with the level of studying that, that I'm doing, things I look at, things I consider, and Some of the tasks at hand, these all provide for what I would call an interesting mindset at the end of where we're going. And so this is this is where we are today. I upgraded one of, one of my computers. Uh, still moving along uh, with that. And I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but it was, ended up being easier than I expected it to be. So this uh, allows me to move forward, and so I have been upgrading, but I am uh, putting in longer hours in terms of my studying, and this sort of uh, creates a uh, an unusual situation, and I decided that uh, given the fatigue that I have, I'm not going to be going north to work on my trailer, so... I'll have to do that uh, sometime in December and sort of see what happens then. Anyways, uh, I think uh, I'm going to leave this here and I will see you in the next transition. Well, I've got some time to vlog right now. It's uh, 18 hours and 55 minutes into the first day of October 2021 and we're in our last quarter. of the year of 2021 and we'll see how things go. Things have been going pretty well. I got my delivery in today so I was up from about uh, 4.35 o'clock. I did some work on the uh, observatory. Uh, I had upgraded some of the software on there. Uh, there are always bugs. Anytime you upgrade something there's always something new, always something different. There are always new bugs and you have to sit down and do a bit of debugging in terms of uh, figuring out how to work around certain issues and uh, the like. And But uh, it's most of the issues have been resolved. Everything seems to be going pretty well uh, in terms of the observations. I've found new things. I've, I'm seeing new things. Now I have to sort of track it for about a year to sort of see whether or not my uh, the, the, the new things that I'm seeing are indeed... Uh, something that that these are so-called permanent features. Oh, and this will give me a better uh, handle on uh, the things that go on, the different cycles that go on. And what happens is that a lot of times when it appears in the news, the one stuff that appears in the news, there is something unusual that that, that that catches people's eye in terms of the news, and they put it out there and say, oh, this is something new, something different. But really, as as an astronomer, as, as uh, doing uh, solar astrophysics, uh, there really isn't anything new there. It's just what happens. It's an unusual event that uh, catches people. And sometimes there is actually no real event uh, beyond what, what we typically see. It's just that what happens is that... Uh, well, most people never pay attention, including the media to what's going on in, in solar astrophysics, every once in a while they glance their way and say, ah, what are you guys doing? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it, it makes the news. So, it just what happens is that it, the events are normal from, a, from, a, from, from my perspective, but the events that make the news are there because they make the news. That's about it. They just simply took notice of what we were doing and 
you know, and, and, and that's how it got, gets into the news. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, is there's no, no particular reason for that. But there's a reason for why it is in the news in terms of being a, a significance. But what happens is as these new news reports come out, what I notice is that people start to panic. And you're starting to see people, people, people panic again, buying tons of paper towels and so on and so forth. And, and it, the, the, the panic has been with us for a significantly long period of time. It is spreading to different groups. Before it was simply the survivalists. There were people, there were a lot, and a number of the vloggers, particularly new to our survivalists. Uh, they have uh, four years worth of of, of uh, food supplies stored away. You know, the, 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 cra the craze now on freeze dry this and freeze that. And you can get your own freeze dryer. You can you can dry dry freeze your own stuff. You know, you know whatever you want to do. You can and it stores for years. You can store it for for a decade if you wanted to. And so they're trying it out. One of these people are survivalists. They have a basement, and part of their basement is is cordoned off and. There's a supply, uh, you know, a three, four year supply, or if not longer, uh, of food. Because <laughs> uh, they fully believe that, you know, this is the, they're preparing for some type of apocalypse, some type of event that will sort of end everything, and uh, they're going to ne eventually need to run to their supplies. And so, of course, uh, when the opportunity strikes, they, you know, they go out there and they buy paper towels, they buy um, toilet paper, and so on and so forth, and they, they run on the stores. And so, you know, this just. This causes a bit of a pro oh, a problem when you have people stealing from the stores, uh, you know. And I think the, the cops have, you know, this is from, from a scene from tip, TikTok. And the cameras are everywhere. So what happens is that you can try to lie. And this is one police officer who took down a black guy. Uh, this, that's all you need to know, really, is that in terms of the description of the officer. And then, the, 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 uh, you know. The officer was white, and with unknown to the unknown to the officer, who could have done a bit of an investigation and, and sort of checked around, he was looking at a, a suspect that had been reported uh, sort of breaking into cars. Rather than doing the investigation, his choice was to stop and question the black guy. Well, eventually, because he, you know. He, he stood for his rights. The officer ended up arresting the black guy with a bit of a struggle. Turns out, not only did the car that people saw saw this guy quote unquote breaking into was his own car. He was an employee there at the mall. <laughs> and so what happens is you get this sort of mistaken identity, but instead of using their brains and sort of doing a quiet investigation and sort of Okay, maybe he isn't, or you know, looking into things. He could have gone. To, he could have gone to the mall and seen, well, who owns the car. He could have called in the license plates of the car they saw him breaking into and see whether or not he's registered to that license plate. If this is the only guy driving the car and you call in that license plate, who guess what's going to pop up? The guy's name. If you see he's got he's got the motorcycle there. He's he has a second vehicle, a motorcycle parked away away. All motorcycles have license tags on them. Call in the license tag. Compare the license tag to the. Uh, to, to, to uh, license tag on the on the motorcycle to that of the car. No issue because it's this guy's car and this guy's bike. End of suspi end of suspicion. You've solved it. Well, now, but his choice was, well, well, Eric Cartman, respect my authority, and that's why he was arrested. The, the the black guy was arrested because he didn't respect the authority of the police officer. I mean, and then there, were, there were other black cops there. They saw what was going on. Let me just adjust this here. <laughs> and what you and the thing is, this you can see the guy in 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 the thing as other cops came up and sort of asked him what happened. He started lying. It could, you could see in, in the in the videotape that this guy was lying. He was covering his own ass. And so this is what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with people, and, and this is at all levels. Whether you're talking about researchers, scientists, doctors, and so on and so forth, if they make a mistake. They're, and they make, make significantly lethal mistakes, uh, they're going to cover their own ass. They're going to lie. They're going to try to cover as much up as possible. Now, of course, once it gets into the department, the whole department is going to lie. 
because they don't want to out the guy. This is the blue, something known as the blue code. And th th this is how things end up working out. So I think this is the reality. This is what's going on. And in about, uh, uh, well, let's see, it's 7 o'clock now. In about two hours, I'll be going out and doing some observational work. Uh, that's when my observation period starts. It goes from about 9 to about noon till about midnight. Uh, and usually by midnight, I'm sufficiently tired that I'm coming back in and uh, uh, the day starts all over again here. So anyways, uh, we will see you at our next transition point. Well, it's 23 hours and 54 minutes into the first day of October 2021. We're back here once again uh, to do our uh, YouTube stroll. We're going to continue with it. Uh, we had done, we'd started earlier. Uh, I wasn't in that much of a mind, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> I did my observation, uh, and I didn't end up staying outside because I'm hungry. And... Uh, so I came in to have something to eat and just sort of feel like it felt like, uh, well, so close to 1 o'clock in the morning by the time I finish eating, cooking and eating, that there's no point in going back outside again. So I uh, brought everything in and that's the end of observation for tonight. Uh, anyways, I did manage to listen to Lionel last night and uh, tonight uh, when I was doing my observation, when I was doing the observation. And he's bringing in his wife, and they're doing a, a particularly a, a bit of work. But I don't know if they realize themselves that sometimes you can end up spinning your wheel unless you're... You, you have, when you're going after something, you have to assess the target. And you have to look at your effectiveness on the target itself. And well, although they are getting certain places... They're simply not where they need to be because they're not necessarily addressing the issues uh, surrounding uh, the thing with uh, human trafficking. <sighs> and as I said before, if you're refusing to look at things because you think that they're not necessary or in some cases, unpleasant to look at. You have to do a full background in terms of your research. In terms of your research, you have to do a full background. You have to go to places maybe you don't think you like or don't necessarily agree with or um, are hard to look at to understand what's going on. Unless you know the environment that you're trying to deal with, you're, asking, you're sort of assessing the target, you're not going to be very effective. And so you put a lot of reference to say, well, why isn't this working? Because you didn't properly assess the target. And, and, you, and sometimes you'll hit the target, and you think you've got a, done a good job, and you have to go back and say, well, what did I hit, and how effective was it? And sometimes you'll have to go back and do this again and again and again. And this is what was going on in World War II. World War II, they were trying, using a bombing campaign, to knock out the, uh, uh, the German industry. But it took them a long time to do that because they kept moving things around. It was, it was a very difficult thing, it, it, and it wasn't. And that bombing campaign didn't win the war for 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 the Allies. What eventually won, uh, won the war for the Allies is that the Germans ended up uh, creating so many enemies they just couldn't fight them all at once, and so they ended up being, they ended up sort of uh, they ran out of everything. They just sort of just you know. Kept going, kept going, kept going. It didn't, at some point in time, it got so bad as in terms of their sort of expansion. They kind of overshot the mark and couldn't supply their troops with everything. They couldn't keep their, their troops supplied. So, and at the same time, they had so many different enemies. That, that was it. They, did, they fundamentally destroyed themselves. They weakened themselves. And unfortunately, a large chunk of the time, it's not a matter how well you hit somebody in terms of knocking them down or knocking a particular issue out. Uh, it's a matter of whether or not the person uh, is in a pattern of self-destruction. If they are, they're going to destroy themselves. You don't have to do anything. And this is the same thing, you know, that everyone's talking about China. Well, well, why why is China looking at the United States? Why is it looking at the West? Because the West is in the process of destroying itself. 
It doesn't have to fight the United States in order to to, to do anything, because the United States in in, in Western Europe, uh, it's destroying itself. So you sit there, you wait until you know the final hand is struck, and uh, there you go. End of the United States, uh, end of the West. And who did it? it was, well, it was the United States and the West. They did it to themselves. They destroyed themselves. And we're seeing this. We're seeing the whole principle of self-destruction. And I said before, you know, they said, oh, who could predict this? Well, go read Dostoevsky. Go read Crime and Punishment. It's right there. <laughs> the whole thing is right there. But what happens, of course, you have a lot of people who, uh, you know, are fatally optimistic and oh no 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 we'll do better next time we'll do better next time you know these people aren't really liberals they're not leftists you know they're, these are the neo this and neo that and uh, they come up with excuses and but this is this is the end this is it's not going to have a continue it's not going to necessarily have a happy ending uh, anyways uh, you see I can't keep my eyes open and so it's time for me to go get something to eat uh, and uh, uh, continue on my YouTube stroll. Well, it's uh, 22, 23 hours and 42 minutes into the second day of October. And we're starting our uh, YouTube uh, YouTube stroll. Just finished up at the Yali Vlogs. I've cut my finger. It's an appropriate one, too, so... Uh, you, you can figure out which one it is and what it looks like when I turn it around. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be uh, laying me up for a couple of days. Oh, did my uh, usual uh, outdoor observation. Didn't do the observation vlog. Because I'm still working on uh, a number of uh, uh, the things that sort of have to be done in order to sort of get things where they need to be. Because uh, they're not actually there yet, uh, so... But it does leave me fatigued. I don't, for some reason, at the end of the day, right, right now, I just feel completely knocked out. And so I'll be sleeping more. That's the uh, goal for the next uh, day or so, is to get some extra sleep and bring myself back on board again. So in terms of the alertness and oh, what I'm but what I'm doing so there's not much to say and this is it for for now well it is uh, just about uh, 54 minutes into the fourth day of October 2021, I sort of had to figure out where we were in terms of the year. For some reason, just didn't want to come out. <laughs> uh, there is, particularly for the introvert, for a person who studies a lot, or reads a lot, that that, that applies as well. If you read a lot, you're, also, you're pretty much an introverted person. And a lot of times, things go on in your mind, and you there is now a a disconnect between reality and what's in your mind. In other words, you have to remember sometimes to speak the words, not simply to think it. And a lot of times when the fatigue is there, and it is now, uh, I went to bed just to take a little bit of a nap. My body was just, was just not feeling right. So I went to bed, uh, had a bit of a nap. I'm up now. I'm going to have my uh, iced tea and start my uh, YouTube vlog. Uh, YouTube uh stroll and right now I'm at, we're at the Yowie vlogs and we'll be here for oh, quite some time no actually 12 minutes <laughs> and I did my I sort of uh, let Allie Tanner Allie know about uh, the comment I still think that she hasn't done this she's got a YouTube channel she should have used I don't know if she's doing this now. I don't think she is doing it. She hasn't been posting too much to her channel. It is a lot of work to get yourself noticed. I mean, if, if that's the thing you want to get done. is in, in, in order to be in sort of the entertainment business, which is what Disney is, it, Disney is entertainment, you have to sort of demonstrate this. And, and the YouTube channel is a great stepping stone to do this. It, it, it's your vehicle into 
whatever you want to do in terms of entertainment, if that's what if that's what your goal is, entertainment, then then YouTube is the thing you want to do. But the thing is, is that if you don't keep it up, and it, it's very difficult to keep up, it's very difficult to keep editing. You know, uh, you know these vlogs are, are 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 I'm still trying to catch up, but they're about a month behind right now. I just finished edi finished editing uh, September fourth. And but it, it's it's now it's now October fourth. That's where we're a month behind. So to get caught up to be current is a very difficult thing because there are a lot of things that go wrong when you do editing. There's a lot of things that go wrong. But it's a matter of persevering through the various problems, the various, various different issues, and uh, whatever comes along. You have to persevere through it and still show that you can sort of produce a product. And if, if this is where you're going in the long term, then, it, you know, for me, I know where I'm going, I know where things are, to a certain degree, in terms of the overall di overall direction. What's going to happen in the immediate, in terms of uh, what's going to happen tomorrow, I don't know. It's, things are, are, are that, they're, they're that up in the air. There's no stability so that the YouTube stroll uh, becomes my stability. That's my, sort of, my sure thing right now. But even every, every every once in a while, uh, things fall off, things change, and uh, I have to make adjustments uh, to the YouTube stroll. So, uh, that's just part of the reality. I mean, while I watch uh, Clintus, and he's, he's to, to do the vlogging, the way he needs to do the vlogging, he's struggling. He, he, you can see how difficult it is for him to pick up the camera and start vlogging again. It's not an easy thing to do. It's not, you know, because you have to find the time to do it. Uh, and you have to have, and this is the hard part, have the presence of mind. This is what Carly finds out. Well, you know, when you turn the camera on, what do you say? What's the conversation? What, you know, what are you going to do? And it's not, there are times when, okay, it's vlogging time, but there's nothing to say. There, you see, there are segments that are very, very short. Then there are segments that are very, very large. And I haven't done my line all for today. I haven't... Oops. Oh, that's my... Uh, oh, oh. I had turned uh, the uh, sound on. Oh, no, I didn't turn the sound on. That was, that was another device turning off. I have a number of, uh, bo uh, of Bluetooth devices here, so... Uh, when one goes off, I think... Others are going off, so false alarm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to make my iced tea, get the YouTube show started, and see if I can vlog more of the transitions uh, for today. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I said, I, I made it. And this, this is what Allie needs to do. She needs to make the attempt. Understand that this is where her vehicle is. She can keep applying all she wants, but she is just simply a number of numbers in the pile. It's only when she makes herself out, st stand out, that's what's going to make the difference. But if she doesn't do that, then, you know, and she's, she's got the opportunity, she's got, she's with the Tannerites, and her channel is very popular, I mean, I'm nowhere near where she is in terms of the popularity, so. This is something that she needs to consider, she needs to consider uh, using her channel as a vehicle to make herself known to Disney, and so that Disney wants to have her... Or work, wants to work with her. And I'll, I'll offer it as a partnership. So anyways. Uh, that's where we are right now. On to the Yowie Vlogs and my iced tea. Which is waiting for me. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you then. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life.